The real-life tragedies that served as inspiration for Hollywood's horror films are the only thing scarier than the movies. The phrase inspired by true events has become commonplace additions to the majority of horror movie marketing campaigns. Horror icons like Psycho and The Exorcist, whose fictional storylines are based on real incidents, give high-octane nightmare fuel scares. The truth behind the fiction aids in the sale of tickets that make you grip the armrests of your chair with both hands. Here are 8 scary movies that you may not know are based on or at least inspired by even scarier real events. So that being said, as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Number 1. Psycho. The iconic black and white film by Alfred Hitchcock is as timeless as its controversial real-life beginnings. The story of Ed Gein, a Wisconsin man who was convicted of murder in the 1950s but is suspected of having a far higher body count, is supposed to have served as the inspiration for Norman Bates, Anthony Perkins. Gein was not just a murderer, but also an amateur grave robber who enjoyed creating unusual home decor, such as a lampshade made from a person's face. Number 2. The Exorcist. The Exorcist, arguably the scariest horror movie ever filmed and unquestionably one of the finest, is made much scarier by the fact that the narrative of a young girl in Washington, D.C. who is possessed by a demon is more real than not. William Peter Blatty's 1971 novel The Possessed was inspired by an actual exorcism of a 14-year-old child. In the book, the child uses a Ouija board in a manner reminiscent of Regan from The Exorcist. In order to free the youngster from the demon infestation two priests eventually perform the exorcism ritual 20 to 30 times, just like in the movie. Number 3. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Though Hooper's seminal horror film, which is also partially based on the life and actions of murderer Ed Gein, used Gein's infamous escapades to help create one of the genre's most recognizable and horrifying characters. Leatherface. Despite the iconic tagline, the plot is almost entirely made up. Some plot points have a real-life terror connection. Leatherface wore a mask made of raw human skin, similar to the ones worn by Gein's lamps at home. Number 4. The Amityville Horror. The Amityville Horror is one of the most famous horror films of all time. The story of a young couple and their house in New York haunted by violent spirits. The Lutz family moved into an Amityville home one year after Ronald DeFeo Jr. murdered six of his family members there. The family reported nearly a month's worth of strange sounds and even stranger sights. In the years since, their claims have been debunked. There was no black ooze, ecoplasm, or foul odors. And especially no cloven hoofprints left behind in the snow. Number 5. A Nightmare on Elm Street. The inspiration for Nightmare on Elm Street came from an article about a Cambodian family's child who suffered from night terrors. Craven. He told his parents he was scared that if he slept, the creature hunting him would catch him. In an oral history of his classic picture, Craven said he tried to remain awake for days at a time. This young lad tragically passed away in his sleep, unlike the most of the teenagers in Elm Street, and was probably the victim of sudden unexpected nocturnal death syndrome, rather than a ghost with knives for fingers. Number 6. The Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs, the only horror film to win the Best Picture Oscar, established Hannibal the Cannibal Lecter, a terrifying household name, while bringing Thomas Harris's bestseller and the real-life crimes that served as its inspiration into the public eye. Like serial killer Lecter, Ted Bundy faked injuries to bait his victims and helped create a criminal profile to help catch the prolific Green River Killer. Buffalo Bill's infamous torture pit in the bowels of his home is tied to Philadelphia serial killer Gary Heidnick, who murdered and tortured six victims in his basement. That aspect of Agent Clarice Starling's prey is also tied to Sheetnick's victim, who was killed and tortured by his basement dweller. Number 7. Wolf Creek. The well-known horror film by writer-director Greg McLean takes inspiration from a number of horrifying atrocities committed in his native Australia. With its extremely brutal portrayal of tourists being followed and terrorized in the outback, Wolf Creek significantly increased the popularity of survival horror. According to McLean, the killer in the movie was based on two real murders in Australia. He started out as a genuine story, he's a cross between Bradley Murdoch and Ivan Millett. Thus, the figure was created by combining features of those real characters with a large number of Australian archetypal characters and cultural mythology. Number 8. The Conjuring. The Conjuring 2 is a modern masterpiece of the genre. Based on actual persons who assert to have come across and overcome genuine supernatural threats. The Warrens are played by Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. The real Lorraine Warren, who served as a consultant on the film, maintains that the haunting that terrorizes the family and their home in the film actually took place. 
According to Warren, whatever the spirit was, she believed herself to be mistress of the house, and she despised the competition my mother created for that position. Warren told USA Today. In the case of these terrifying movies, the truth is just as scary, if not scarier, than the fiction. Please comment below your thoughts. Hope you liked the video. For more such videos please subscribe to the channel.